Hello and welcome to the Focusing Way podcast. I'm your host, David Battistella. Please share this podcast with others as a way of introducing them to the people, themes, concepts, and beauty of focusing. Our website is thefocusingway.com. Follow us on Twitter at The Focusing Way. This podcast is available on iTunes and Stitcher. Our philosophy is simple. Focusing for better living. If you really enjoy this, you can support us by making a contribution via Patreon as well. All the links are on the website. Now, on to the good stuff. Practical tools are important. The hammer, the wheel, the chisel, the saw. Where would humankind be without them? We've evolved into philosophical spiritual beings. We are seekers, seekers of light and wisdom, aren't we? I am. Seems like since the very beginning, I've been a curious soul, on the lookout to try new things and dig deeper into the knowledge and teachings that have been bestowed upon us. No practice has been able to synchronize and make sense of all my learning the way focusing has. All the threads of people, time, information, and all the connections to the soul, the mind, the body, and life seem to meet in a place or state I am in when I am focusing. I've learned a lot in my years of focusing, and here are 10 reasons to bring focusing into your life. Improve your ability to focus. Focusing is a precious practice which helps bring you toward your inner wisdom. By learning focusing, you will be better able to be in touch with that wisdom in a tangible way. You can interact with it, and begin to make decisions from a place that is just right for you. Create pauses for reflection. Focusing helps you create me time, a time set aside just for you and your thoughts and feelings. This time you give yourself is empowering. It can help you get things straight in a confusing world and organize your mind and body in a way that can help you feel better. A sense of calm. Is life a bit hectic? Is it already hectic and you want to find practical tools you can use on your own or with a partner to create a sense of calm and ease that you inherently know, but maybe lately it's eluded you? Focusing can help you create a sense of peace and calm again by getting you back to the you that you already know. Become a better listener. By listening on the inside to the wealth of information and knowledge that lies within you, comes from you, and is available exclusively to you, you can cultivate inner listening. The more you practice, the better you become. One side effect of inner listening is outer listening. You begin to hear and sense people in an empathic and caring way. You become present to listening, and you improve relationships in all facets of your life. Connect with ancient wisdom. Know thyself. The Greek aphorism are two short words that have been with us for centuries. Or maybe you can better relate to the Latin phrase, Noshete ipsum, which translates more directly to the phrase, Be thyself. Don't you want to find a way to better know and be present to yourself? You can do this through focusing just by inviting that sense of self into your present awareness and learn from it. The Greek philosopher Socrates taught us that the unexamined life is not worth living. Focusing can help start you on this journey. Improve awareness. After trying some focusing, you'll find that you become more aware. You become more awake to yourself and others. 
The process lends itself to deep listening, and this translates into your waking life. If you are looking for a way to improve your awareness, even if you might already consider yourself a master, focusing can bring you that much closer to open up the corners of awareness you may not have considered. Energy. One of my favorite focusing sayings is, slowing down is the fastest way there. Well, it turns out this can be taken back to Latin as well. The saying festine lente in Latin means make haste slowly. In focusing terms, slowing down is the fastest way there. It turns out that if you pause, reflect, focus, and move forward, you can traverse mountains in short periods of time. We all need a bit more festine lente in our lives. Connect to your body. Our present world and society really puts a massive demand on our minds. Much of the consciousness seems to be in our thoughts and collective thinking. Focusing is a body practice. Think of it as a subtle energy workout for the body. You know that your body is far more genius than you can ever know, right? Don't believe me? The last time you cut your finger, your solution was a band-aid. The body did everything else without a stitch of input from you. You can get to know that part of yourself better. Improve relationships. If you can learn to better relate to yourself, this same learning is going to improve your ability to relate to others. If you are in a focusing partnership, you can learn important relationship skills of listening holding space, empathy, respect, and compassion for others and their process. Better living. My motto is focusing for better living. Why are you doing anything if it does not improve the way you, you personally, you, your deepest desire part of you, wants to live life? The gift of life is exactly that. Focusing has helped me live a better, fuller, richer, fulfilled life. This is what I want for you. That is what I want for humanity. There are many, many ways there. Focusing is one practice that can help you harness everything you've learned and demands no dogmatic practice, rites or rituals, just a few simple non-judgmental tools that anyone can learn to help you feel better. So I hope these 10 little things can help you live your life in a focusing way. You've been listening to The Focusing Way Podcast. Our podcast is available on iTunes and Stitcher. For links and to subscribe, visit our website at thefocusingway.com. Follow us on Twitter at The Focusing Way. Please share this podcast with others as a way of introducing them to the people, themes, concepts, and beauty of focusing. If you really enjoy this and want to support us, you can support us using Patreon as well. Until next time, I'm your host, David Battistella.